Hi guys! In this tutorial, I will show you how to connect a button and Arduino using Circuito.io. The first thing we want to do is to drag the push button switch from the components column to the right side. We will also add an LED that will react to our button clicks. In the middle, we have our microcontroller that by default is Arduino Uno. We'll leave it like that, but we'll change the power supply from 12 volt power adapter to a USB cable connected to our computer. And we are ready to go. Let's hit the generate button and open our circuito. So this is the instructions page we got. The first section contains the list of parts we'll need in order to make it work. You can see here our button, our LED, and the other things we'll need such as breadboard, jumper wires, the USB cable, and resistors that are added automatically by circuito. In the second section, we have a step-by-step -step guide showing us how to wire between all the different components we saw in the last step. So let's go and wire everything up by the steps. Okay, now that we're done with the wiring, we can download the example code. Let's extract the zip file we got and open the firmware.ino file using the Arduino IDE. The basic code we got contains all the functions we need to control our components, including functions for our button, our LED, and a basic interaction code between the two. Before we upload the code, let's go to the Tools menu and under Boards, check that Arduino Uno is selected. Let's also go to Port and make sure that the serial port is right and hit the upload button. So let's press our button and see what happens. As you can see, every time the button is pressed, the LED will turn on and will dim until it is off, since that's what's defined in the example code we got from Circuito.io. We can try different interactions with our LED and button by modifying the code. Let's go ahead and change the push button on press function to push button read equals high. Let's also delete the dim loop and change that to LED on function. And add an else statement before the LED off function. So what will happen now is that the LED will turn on if the button is high. In other words, pressed, else the LED will be off. Let's burn our new code. And there we go. Our LED only turns on when the button is pressed. This tutorial was a simple example for a project you can do with Circuito.io. The cool thing is, you can make any combination you want, so the possibilities are endless. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.